our equipment still. We found another logging job we're gonna come hang out on and do a little video for y'all today. This is Dad's job. A lot of y'all been asking to see it and everything like that. Uh, I've gotten a lot of cool shots so far this morning. The content from this shoot's gonna be amazing. If y'all follow me on Instagram and Facebook, y'all have seen this already. Uh, not sure how many days it's going to be before I get all this edited and uploaded, but we are in Fields, Louisiana right now. They're currently moving a loader. Got another loader right here. Uh, they got a set. They got a 748L2 just like ours. It's the exact same age and everything. They have two 234Bs just like ours. Uh, one has about 7,000 hours. The other one has about 10,000 hours. Still great running machines. They're also using the 822 Tiger Cat track fellow buncher that y'all seen on my job several times. They're currently using it. They're cutting, they're clear cutting. They're typically a thinning operation just like myself. Spin y'all around here so y'all can see the skitter going around in the background. They are typically a, a thinning operation just like myself, mostly first thinning, but here recently, same thing with my operation. We've been working a lot of second thins. Uh, they're down here doing a lot of storm cleanup stuff. I'm gonna ride y'all around, show y'all some of the stuff. It's really tore up down here. It's quite impressive the difference from my job to this job. The, the location is about 60 miles, 50, 50, 60 miles, somewhere in there difference, uh, you know, geographical location. But it is impressive how much more the timber is tore up over here. Uh, for whatever reason being, in, in my theory, it's because the ground stays wetter over here and they, they plant mostly slash pine timber over here instead of loblolly where my area has. Uh, and the, the slash is more limber and it's going to give, it's going to lean more. So that's the, that's the brand new 748 L2. I mean, it's the same age as ours. This is the newer of the two loaders. Um, nobody's gonna wanna get on camera so y'all don't even go down in the comments and ask for that. Nobody wants to get on camera out of here. Uh, and then the other 234 down there, and they have an 848. I can't remember if I said that a minute ago or not. They have an 848. Uh, I keep getting getting the job out of the picture. But anyway, they have an 848 L. I think it's an L1. I'd have to go look on the sticker of it. Uh, but y'all seen the guy that runs it? That's my uncle. He's been out here for God years, 20 years or so. But they're a big operation. They move lots of wood. Um, they run two cutters full-time, two skidders full-time, two loaders full-time. They even have, spin y'all around here so y'all can see, I believe y'all can see over there now. They even have a guy dedicated to helping trimming trucks where Matt does all the trimming on our job plus loading and playing with a skidder. We only have four men. They have seven dedicated men to this job. It's a big job. Move lots of wood. Uh, they usually average 100 loads a week. Uh, tonnage wise, Y'all can do the math, they, they average about 31 and a quarter tons per load and uh, 100 loads of that a week. That's a lot of tonnage at the end of the year. They go through lots of ground, lots of, uh, lots of acreage. They're known for working wetter ground where most people quit. This crew goes in. Uh, Dad's been in business now for, we're working on 20, 21 years. This December will be 21 years he's been in business for himself. He's been in the woods full time since I believe he was 14 years old, I think. We're gonna to talk to him in a minute. We're gonna find all that out. And uh, he's 50, he just turned 57. 56, 57. I get, I get the numbers and ages all confused. But anyway, yeah, that's that. So uh, hopefully y'all enjoy this. I enjoy, I'm, I'm really enjoying being able to just come to the job and film and not have to worry about anything else. I've gotten y'all some awesome content, but anyway, we're uh, gonna do some more filming. Y'all know this truck, that's Ice Man. Look, he come back to work. He won't come work on our job, but he'll come work over here. <laughs> so anyway, we're, uh, we're just out here having fun video and logging. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> hey. Let's go. Back. 
Yo, once again I'm back around. Uh, rush it back in style. Uh, haters reconcile. Uh, I'm so black and proud. First class tickets now. Uh, feet all in the eye. Uh, everybody looking down. Everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me up. I'm putting it down. You picking it up. Checking the models. They want us to go to college just so we can be stuck. Go to school to make a living. Or teach yourself to make a fortune. Common sense. Welcome to the apocalypse. I'm one of the horsemen. I don't need your endorsement, I don't need reinforcement, giving you your last warning, cause I'm at my prime. Yeah. I'm at my I'm at my prime. Whoa. Uh, have I gone too far? Do you detect something different? If you look inside my head, would you say something's missing? If you could give all your riches just to say the word, would you risk it? These politicians so old can't tell live the day where they living. Better ass Kathy Griffin, you know I like to raise stakes We was always taught to hit the gas, we ain't even know they made breaks We control our own fate, watch your dreams take shape Try to keep us out, we gon' freak out, turn this water cake I don't need your mandate, don't need you to elevate I'm about to detonate, cause I'm at my prime Yeah, I'm at my I'm at my prime Said I'm at my prime, we at our prime. Hey, hey, we at our prime. Yeah, I'm at my prime. Hey, hey, I'm at my prime. Whoa, said I'm at my prime. So I told you I was going to show y'all some of the uh, the stuff that they've got tore up down here. This is one of the tracks as I'm leaving out. I, I got kind of behind on time, so I'm not going to get to show y'all a whole bunch uh, of stuff from down here that's tore up. But, I mean, this is some of the stuff that they have to pick up down here. It is unbelievable how much worse the, the damage is down here. As y'all can see how it's all just lint bowed i mean we've we've driven almost a quarter of a mile here now and it's just all lint and bowed and tore down that's the end of it right there there's a, there's a road separating the track there's the another track that's never been first thinned and then you come over here on this side of the road this has been first thinned i believe this is uh, no that ain't been second thinned yet that's going to be just uh recently first thinned well, I say recently, it's probably been three years or so since it's been first thin, but y'all can really see the difference. You, you know, what we have to cut over there, everything is is snapped and blowed in different directions. It's mostly in the same direction, but it's, it's kind of crossed up and stuff in a lot of places. Whereas this, it's, it's all just leaning. Now there's a lot of snap stuff too down here. But it is so mind-boggling to me to see the the leaning stuff and, and it's not just a few acres here and there like it is in our our district like it's thousands of acres just lined up just i mean y'all see how we've been driving here it's just just crazy madness like i've i've never seen anything like this never so something i wish i also had more time for I have so much history working in this area uh, of what, what we call the Fields District. I have so much experience working down here and understanding the ground. And This is where, um, out of my 13 years of being in the woods now, I would say probably eight of my years have been out of this little area right here, this little district. Don't worry, I'm not on the on the highway i'll put my seat belt on in a minute but anyway um the 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 damage down here is, is unbelievable but i have a lot of experience working down here and, and not so much just a lot of experience but a lot of uh working memories from being here um one of the very the, actually the very first track we ever tried to work with a bogey skitter was in this area and it was right there close to to where we were at 
um, we call it the demo block because it was a demonstration for Tiger Cat to, to try that, that big bogey skitter. It was a 625 that we tried in, um, in a thinning, our first thinning application at that. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Y'all just look at all that out there. But we, we demonstrated the 625 in a super wet contract that we worked down here for. It took about two years for us to get it cut because we had to, we'd move on it and it would get too wet and then we had to move back up off of it and you know stuff like that. Um, but it was, we were showing the timber company just how wet a ground we could work with a single track cutter and a uh, buggy skitter. And it was very impressive. Now we did bog it down. You know, going across a little SMZ here and it starts off again with some more damaged timber. It's not as bad, but there's a lot of snap stuff in that. But there's just, there's so many memories I have working from down here. And I wish I had time to kind of show y'all uh, a little bit of all of it. But we don't. Just look at all that out there. We get up here a little ways. I got another track that uh, I actually clear cut a few years ago. I forgot about it. It was a storm damage from a, a thunderstorm, big thunderstorm come in and uh, had straight line winds and blew a lot of it down. Yeah, we clear cut a certain section of it. I want to show y'all what, what we clear cut, how high it's gotten in the last five years, and then show y'all what's standing around it and or what's left standing. As you can see, like right here, it's just, there's just like nothing. That used to be all thick timber crazy all right so here's the the other track that i was talking about a minute ago we actually set up right here and clear cut all this younger stuff all this bigger stuff that stuff's uh that's roughly 18 year old timber somewhere in there but all this is about this is about five years old six years old somewhere in there since we've since we clear cut it it looked about like that did back there, you know, what was leaning. Uh, about that much of it was tore down. And I'll show y'all the, the corner where it butts up. But for those of y'all that's asked, we do replant, well, not us, but the companies that we work for, they replant. Uh, within two years of us clear cutting it, it'll be replanted. Most of the time, it depends on the time that we clear cut it. Like, you know, the time of year we clear cut it, whether it gets planted that winter or the next winter. And there's the, the next track. Our next piece of that track this was a square 40 acre patch that we uh, clear cut most every bit of it in this patch here was on the ground and it's done been replanted we first thinned it it was first thinned for like a couple of weeks or well, a couple months i think would be more accurate but uh it was first thinned for a couple of months and then we we had a bad thunderstorm come in, like I said, and it blew most every bit of it down. And y'all talk about wet, golly, it was wet, but uh, we clear cut. That was my last clear cut to do, uh, was about six years ago. That was the last one that we done up until we're doing all the storm salvage stuff now. So, pretty neat stuff for y'all to kind of look at and uh, listen about and all that other good stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's just crazy seeing all the stuff tore down down here it's just I've, I've never seen anything like this in, in my 13 years of logging uh, and I hope I don't ever see it again